So, our uh, chain could actually look something like that. <coughs> we can remove this and put a methyl group here and put a fluorine here. So how do I name this thing? How do I name this thing? The first thing you do when you have substitutions like that is to see the main chain. The main chain. So the main chain here is the chain that contains the uh, most number of carbons. So I count like that. One, two, three, four or one, two, three, four. Okay? So these two are actually the same, so it doesn't matter if I go up or go straight like that. Then we have the chlorine and we have the methyl group. There's a rule that says that any halogen substituent has the priority in the nomenclature than the alkyl substituent. So what this means is that when I count, I count from the uh, side that gives the substituent here the least number. For example, if I say 1, 2, 3, 4, or I can say 1, 2, 3, 4. So the numbering here at the bottom is wrong because the chlorine took the number 4. Well, it actually can't take the number 1. So this is the rule. Then what we do is um, we type um, chloro, chloro, so the halogens are named like that when they are attached to um, the hydrocarbon chain. We have chloro, fluoro, bromo, and iodo. So here we have chloro, and we have a methyl group, and we have butane, and we have butane. Then what we do is, we arrange the substituents alphabetically, and of course the C comes before the M, so this is okay. And then we put the proper numbers with dashes like that. We have 1 chloro, 3 methyl butane. So this is basically how you name an alkane. What if it gets a little bit more uh, tricky? If I actually remove this substituent instead of being um, methyl group, I put an ethyl group, an ethyl group. Would I name it as a butane, as we did before? No, we won't, because we said that the first thing that we do is to see the longest chain of carbons. So let's see, we have one, two, three, four, and I count this as a substitute. Well, I actually can say one, two, three, four, five. So this is the tricky part. When the substituent is written like that, you can expand it so that you can uh, make things easier for you. Because we actually here have two carbons and not one carbon. So there is a CH, uh, actually there is a CH2 attached to CH3 here. So it's one, two, three, four, five. And in that case, this would be the substituent as a methyl group. This is a methyl group. And then this would be a pentane because it contains five carbons. So we have uh, one chloro, and at the third carbon, there's the methyl group. So three methyl pentane. One chloro, three methyl pentane. The um, final thing that we want to mention is what if uh, on the same carbon there are two substituents or there are two substituents of the same kind in the whole carbon chain for example um, we put here uh, bromine and 
Here we put ACH3 group. We put ACH3 group. So uh, as this is a pentane, this is the main hydrocarbon chain that we have. This thing here with the L-shaped structure. And uh, on the third carbon here we have a methyl group and we have bromo. So it's just a very simple. We see the longest chain as we did. So we put pentane. This is called the parent, by the way. This is called the parent. So the first thing you do is to write the parent. And then you put the substituents. And we arrange them alphabetically. So the B, of course, comes before the C. So we put the bromo first, like that. And uh, then the chloro. And we have two methyl substituents. So what we do is we type dimethyl, dimethyl, pentane. Then we should assign the numbers. The bromo is found at the third carbon. Chloro is found on the first carbon. And Finally, we have two methyl groups. We should type the numbers of each of them. One of them is found on the second carbon and one on the third. So simply what we do is type 2, comma 3, then dash, dimethyl, pentane. And uh, simply this is the nomenclature of alkanes. I hope it was clear for you. And until the next time, I thank you for watching and see you.